My name is Francis Wario from CKL and today we'll talk about growing and producing strawberries. There are a lot of you who are interested in growing strawberries and let's see how one can start and what are the benefits and how one can make some money from strawberries. Strawberries um, is a good choice because there's a good market for the strawberries. They are very nutritional and so there are many people who have have started using them as a nutritional crop. They're used in jams, they're used in juices, and you can also sell them uh, to the local supermarkets and hotel industry in Kenya. These are the, the, the major markets uh, for the strawberries. Strawberries have uh, high levels of antioxidants, known as polyphenols. Antioxidants we know are good uh, in fighting cancer. In Kenya, there are three or more types of uh, strawberries. There are three main ones. Um, the main one is uh, Chandler, and there's another one called Japanese Giant. Uh, but there's also a new one called Harmony, which is doing extremely well. It's a high producer. Harmony actually is uh, probably the best one in Kenya now. It has a nice glossy finish, so it's nice and shiny. And also, it's a good strong producer. This was picked from a three-year-old plant. For your soil, ensure that the soil is slightly acidic, that's between 5.5 and 6.5 pH. If it's any higher than that, you won't get good production. The soil should be well drained, uh, so therefore if your soil is not well drained, you may, you may want to think about adding a bit of sand to increase the drainage of the soil. The requirements for water, of course, the strawberries need to be well hydrated, so there has to be a good constant source of water for your uh, strawberries. We recommend that you don't use overhead irrigation. The best type of irrigation is drip. Drip irrigation is best because it supplies the exact amount of water that the strawberries require, and it doesn't overwet the soil, because if the soil is overwet, then you have a good environment for the diseases and pests. The temperature should be between 22 degrees Celsius to about 28 degrees Celsius. That's the optimum temperature for strawberries. Strawberries is a temperate crop, however, it, it thrives in high temperatures. It thrives in a lot of sunlight. It cannot withstand cold. If it gets too cold, then the strawberries will hibernate and they'll go into dormancy. So give the strawberries as much sunlight as possible. The strawberries do not actually require shade. If you're going to put them under netting, it's better that the netting does not uh, stop any sunlight from penetration. There are those who ask about having them in greenhouses. Again, it's not necessary to grow them in greenhouses. However, if you live in a very cold place, like uh, in high altitude areas where it gets extremely cold, you may need to put them in a greenhouse so that you can uh, control the temperature. You can plant them outside, as you can see on this farm, just outside in the open air is fine. Shade netting has its advantages because um, it will help you to prevent birds from uh, attacking your crop and also it helps to prevent frost from attacking your crop. So when you are planting your strawberries, always ensure you have good planting material. We plant strawberries uh, from splits or from runners. Don't look for strawberry seeds. You can get runners from reputable sources. Don't just buy from anywhere so that you avoid buying diseased um, and uh, wrong variety planting material. Good sources of uh, strawberry uh, planting material, for example, Bare Farm at Odero, they have good harmony variety. 
and you can also ask your local Ministry of Agriculture personnel. You can also get planting material from Griswold Farms at Rironi, Abadea Technology Farms. These are some of the nursery farms that have good strawberry uh, planting materials that we know of. To prepare your seed bed, you should ensure that the seed bed is one meter wide and raise the seed bed about six inches and this is to help in the drainage and you can space your seed beds about 50 centimeters 30 to 50 centimeters between the seed beds themselves make sure that you prepare the soil well add manure to the soil to about three to one soil to manure mix it nicely and then prepare the bed make it flat on top and then you will be ready to plant your strawberries. The spacing for planting is 30 centimeters. You can increase this to 40 centimeters depending on the variety. For example, for harmony, you, we would recommend 40 centimeters. So when you are planting uh, your runners or your splits, you put one per each hole as soon as you plant, make sure you farm it nicely with your fingers uh, and so that you, you're not exposing any roots, but you have not buried the crown. Make sure that the crown is just at the soil level. Then apply Afrikelp to the seedling. Afrikelp is an organic product that is a very strong biostimulant full of auxins and this will help the roots to establish and the seedling to start growing and establishing quickly. Strawberries take a long time to establish after planting. So do not despair. It may take several weeks until you see there is any new growth. You will see the seedling may look as if it's drying up, but at that time is when the roots are taking. Therefore you need to apply Africa to help these roots along so that they can quickly establish and then you will start seeing a lot of shoots and foliar growing. It's a very good idea to use mulching on your strawberries. Mulching helps uh, to retain soil moisture. It also helps to ensure that you don't get too high soil temperature, but it also helps to maintain good hygiene so that your strawberries don't touch soil and therefore you reduce on exposure to rotting. It also helps to control weeds as well as pests. You can use plastic sheeting for your mulch and you can also use grass mulch. Plastic sheeting of course is very good. Um, if you're going to use plastic sheeting, you can use sheeting that is 1.6 meters wide so that your, it will cover the whole bed and you have enough space to anchor it on both sides. If you're going to use plastic sheeting, you can punch the holes in the plastic at the spacing that is recommended. Plastic mulching material, it should be about six microns. So mulching has the effect of reducing your cost of production because you don't have to do any weeding. I hope this has been useful to you. I hope we've been able to give you some good points and some hints about how you can grow your strawberries effectively. Feel free to drop us a line, ask us any question you may have, and also send us pictures of the strawberries that you're doing. We'd like to see how you're getting on. All the best from Coopers and happy farming. <music>